the Galapagos Archipelago is a chain of islands located 600 miles off the coast of Ecuador. All of these islands are volcanic in origin and formed millions of years ago. They are home to a remarkable diversity of living beings, many of which are quite different from their counterparts in South America. One of those counterparts is a group of birds known as finches. Initially, these finches arrived from the South American continent and spread across the entire Galapagos. When Charles Darwin, as an amateur naturalist, visited the Galapagos Islands in 1835, he collected a few specimens of these birds. However, he could not distinguish them fully and sought assistance from the expert ornithologist John Gould, who identified 13 distinct species of finches, with a 14th species found on Cocos Island. Although it is often claimed that Darwin formulated his theory of evolution based on the morphological variations observed in these finches and they are even famously called Darwin's finches, but he only made a single inferential reference to them in his Beagle Diary and barely mentioned them in his iconic book on the region of species. Darwin's theory suggested that variations in living beings arise due to environmental pressures which are then passed on gradually changing one species into another all of which share common ancestry. However, his theory was soon challenged by new genetic discoveries proving that living beings do not transfer acquired traits and do not change into entirely new species. Rather, they vary only within the limits of their pre-existing genetic makeup. In response to these challenges that left no room for the propagation of the theory of evolution, Modern supporters of Darwinism felt the need to immediately popularize the theory of evolution with something that could serve as a savior. They began to promote finches as solid evidence of evolution because these birds within themselves displayed sharp variations in body size and beak shape. Percy Louis was the first person to name these birds as Darwin's finches, and David Legg compiled a book in 1947 with the same term, spreading it widely in the academic world. People were encouraged to visit the islands and conduct research based on preconceived notions. One of the most well-known and the lengthiest studies was carried out by Rosemary and Peter Grant, who spent 40 years researching finches on Daphne Major, a small island in the Galapagos, and they also named their research 40 Years of Evolution. They arrived on the islet in 1973 and measured and tagged every individual within the finch population which consisted of only two species at the time, medium ground finches Geospisa fortis and cactus finches Geospisa scandens. During the drought of 1977, the availability of small soft seeds declined and the population of G fortis which fed on these small seeds dropped by 85%. Among these survivors, most had relatively large beaks enabling them to crack open large woody seeds. This was considered an occurrence of evolution by natural selection. However, when the rains returned during the 1983 El Nino's event, small seeds became plentiful and the population of G40s with small beaks rebounded and increased, which according to evolutionary scenario should not have happened. So instead of proving evolution, the observation only demonstrated the temporary fluctuations in population numbers during environmental stress. Natural selection did not aid those dying finches in survival, nor did it turn them into another species. Moreover, when a new species of finch with significantly larger beak arrived from another island and bred with the resident G. Fortis, it produced offspring with traits from both parents. Evolutionists hailed this as an excellent example of evolution in action and the formation of a new species. However, this is simply an example of natural biological variation as the genetic traits remain confined to those of the parent species. It did not, for instance, turn finches into an entirely different type of bird. Therefore, no evolution could be seen. In modern biology, speciation is often defined as a process in which a species changes so much that it can no longer breed with its previous lineage. However, most fin species have been observed interbreeding. The concept of speciation is therefore slightly debatable in the scientific world because of their belief in evolution. Considering geographic isolation, also known as allopatric speciation, when members of the same species are separated for long periods due to geographic barriers, certain genetic traits may become more dominant in that population. If they are later reunited with the population they diverged from, Behavioral differences may prevent them from interbreeding even when they are still genetically compatible. 
This means they can still be classified as part of the same species. Therefore, all finches even with their different variants are part of the same species and species do not change into any other different species at all. In conclusion, the case of Galapagos finches does not provide any evidence for evolution in action nor does it serve as a prime example of deceptive microevolution. Instead, it demonstrates typical biological variations and fluctuations in population numbers while the finches remain finches. Therefore, the misleading propaganda that evolutionists continue to promote should neither be accepted nor promoted in the name of science. Scientific truth should be presented and published without attaching any evolutionary narrative to it.